Hey, what's going on everybody? Eric here and today I received the parts that I've been waiting for. That is the pickup rings for the bridge and the neck pickup. This is the Cosmo Black and these are from the guitar family. Genuine parts uh, made in Korea. So it's probably where they get their, you know, who knows if these are replicas or what. These are metal. They come with all four screws and uh, direct fit replacements so right now I'm going to remove these guys here and with these guys removed I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean the body a little bit <clears throat> before I end up uh, installing the new ones so again you want to make sure you have the right size screwdriver for this so what I want to do is check the fit of this not bad so with this coming with new screws um, that's gonna work out pretty good because these screws here are a little bit shitty. Now I won't throw, throw the screws away, I will hold on to them. So I've got a little bin over here on the wall that I keep all of the screws that I remove or replace or whatever, because you never know when you're going to need them. So right now I'm going to remove the ring, take the pickup, Remove it from the pickup right now. Alright, almost. I'm not quite there yet. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> Alright. This one's not as bad, but there is a little discoloration here. You can see the Cosmo Black might be, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. You can see the Cosmo Black here, you can see it around here, but then it's kind of chrome right here and here. So that top upper plating kind of came off. Be careful you don't pull any wires doing this. And let's see if there's anything on the back of these pickups. Well, nothing on the back of the pickups. So inside of here, there is a barcode. It says uh, I B A N E, and then there is a one M zero one. Then it's an S four seventy D X dash A B M is what this is called, and it is a stock color. This is the stock color for this. So let me go ahead and get the second pickup ring off. Now I'm going to do is unscrew the pickup first. And again, I'm going to have to do a setup on this thing. So to basically uh, loosen up and remove these pickups. Is not really that big of a deal to me. So I will be doing a setup on this anyways. <clears throat> Again, when you have the right tools for the job, the screwdriver fits in the screw properly in the Phillips cut uh, or stamp. It will work perfect to remove the screw without having any troubles. Now this one's going to be a bitch. I got a magnet, I magnetized these screwdrivers. So got a magnetic screw, you got a magnet on the pickup and yeah, fun stuff. So this one here, I don't know if you can see it or not on the camera, but it's got some discoloration in the plating over here and the rest of it's Cosmo Black. So these guys here, I'm not going to throw these away. I will hold on to these. These could be, you know, if I find a guitar that I can't get these anymore, um, you know, can use them for something else. Uh, you can't really flip them over because they do uh, countersink the screw heads. So that's that. You know, it's underneath this pickup here. Anything special? Uh, nope, nothing special. Just the wires for the pickup. 
So right now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning on this body. Nice clean terry cloth rag. And since this is not a gloss finish, and I really don't see any scratching in this finish at all, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use a scratch doctor. There's no need to sand, polish, do anything else like that. Come on. Scratch doctor works pretty good as a cleaner as well. I'm just going to smear some of this around and kind of wipe it in. I've got crap on the pickups or, or the frets already. You can see it's kind of turning a little bit blue. It's probably go real close to the edges that's doing this. No, not really. It's coming. It's a little bit blue on the color, discoloration on the rag, but like I said, it's probably getting it around the edges of the pickups. I already took the knobs off. As you can see, the knobs are supposed to have a little bit of a shine to it. This was the tone control, not used as much as the volume is. These I will also save, but I'm not going to use them on this guitar. I have a wheel in the garage on my grinder that is also a polishing wheel for metal. And what it does is it'll take the finish off of, or any rust, anything that's on the uh, metal itself and what it ends up doing is polishing the metal clean inside here too because there's some dust in there all right so really wasn't really that that dirty wipe off any excess that's on here And it kind of, eh, I wouldn't say it brightened it up a little bit, but it does look a little bit better than what it did. Oh, I know where I got the uh, little bit of blue from, probably from where the holes are around the, uh, the screw holes that are for the pickup rings. I also want to check the electronics on here and clean them, clean the pots, clean the 30 way, uh, five way switch. Right, that kind of made it, kind of made it look a little bit better. Hmm. I would flip it over, but the pickups are kind of loose right now and I don't feel like having those flopping around. All right, so get these things open. Careful, I don't lose a staple inside of this bag or in the guitar. Stay. Like I said, it comes with all four screws. Now these screws here are a little bit longer than the original ones are, which is fine. Because I bet you the these screws here are kind of deep into the body. Uh, as far as when they drilled them, um, and these little shorty fucking screws are, are yeah. So to test the screw, what I'm going to do is drive the screw into the body to make sure. Now see this screwdriver here does not fit this screw. That's better. This one here has a little bit of a deeper punch inside of it. So what I'm going to do is kind of screw these in to make sure that they're going to grip, grip something. Yep, they're good. All right, so I need spring. 
I need pick our pickup ring, the right side, and I need pickup to install this back on there. Now I could use a couple of ways. I could uh, remove the pickup and install this on here, or I could do it this way. I choose to do it this way freehand like this, so I do not cross thread these screws. Now I'm going to have to take some touch up paint and touch up the tops, uh, the heads of these screws. I would do that after I get them into place. And I do not want to cross thread these screws. I cross thread these screws and there's going to be problems. And I get to pick up close to where, somewhat where I want it. And these holes line up. These holes line up perfect. So let me go ahead and drive these screws in. First off, let me see how deep these holes are. Um, used to have a toothpick in here that I would use to do this with you know, something small. I can also use the really, really thin alright, so let's see what we got here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these holes just a little bit deeper. Uh, let's see here. Here's my bits. I judge between the bit and the shank of the screw. Get my drill. Oh, can't use this drill. This drill's too much, too big. The chuck's too big for it. So I have to get the other one. Get the little Bosch. The other drill is a Hitachi. Lots of torque. Alright, so I'm going to drill out these guys just a little bit. What I kind of do is, uh, after going in one direction, I reverse the bit as I come up. do that with this one too. This one here I have to be very careful because the wires come out right here. This one I gotta be careful of. Alright, so that's done with that. Always make sure your tools are clean before you put them back where they belong. So now I will install this pickup ring. Love these compressed air cans. We got a compressor, but 
it's a little bit on the uh, loud side. Well, I gotta go one more bigger. One more bigger than this hole. Don't know what I drilled it. A little bit too tight. So what do I got here? Next step up would be this one here, I think. No, nope, that's still too big or too small. There we go. Oh, that one is basically right on the money. I had some brand new drill bits someplace around here, real small ones. Where the hell did it go? There we go. McMaster car. Sometimes you break a drill bit and and you need to replace that drill bit. That's too big. These, these are too big. Those are too big. Let's see, this is a uh, These are way too big for what I need it for. I need something smaller. Now these are, these are way too big for what I need. <clears throat> so back to my little over here again. So let's see something here. This would probably work. This should be better now. Yeah, you don't want the screw going in way too tight to where you got to really torque on it and you're going to bust the head off the screw. You don't want to do that. I could put a little soap on these guys to make them go in a little bit easier, but even if the hole was too small for the screw, it's still going to go in real tight. All right, that's that. Bring the pickup up a little bit. Get pretty damn close to being even. So that's one. I'm going to go ahead and drill out these guys. Should be 
fine. It's nice to have tools all in front of you. I got wrenches over here. I got drills over here. Toolbox sitting right over here. It's nice to have everything right at your fingertips. Pack of screws. The nice thing about this is the spring is short and the thread's right there. You don't have to sit there and try to wedge. But this might be a little bit of a pain in the ass. So if I stick it, stick this in there like this. What I don't want to do is cross thread on top of that pickup. Once you cross thread, once you start to cross thread that pickup and you continue to keep driving in the screw um, you're going to have problems with adjusting up and down because eventually those the way you cross thread it is going to wear and then you're going to end up having a hole bigger hole and these screws won't fit see like right now that's trying to cross thread because I'm not holding it straight Pick up up a little bit. Holes line up. Beautiful. And my screws. Come on out of here. Well, you seal this one? Yeah, this one. Oh, it's a bigger bag, that's why. Correct screwdriver. Real nice. And how you drill, as far as being in on angles, is going to determine on your screws sitting flush. Starting to get a little bit tired, should have went a little deeper with that one. The angle that you drill on it are going to determine how that head's going to sit in that hole. You go on an angle, well the screw's going to be sitting on an angle in that hole. If you're not perfectly straight, you'll see it and it'll look like shit. Alright, so new pickup rings, mounts, whatever you want to call them. In. All right, so let's see here. Made in Korea. So I just throw that away. Get some of these scratches off these pickups. smudge whatever is on these things might as well do it because you can't do it when the strings are on it the right screwdriver I'm just going to even them up a little bit that's it Check to see if they're crooked. Oh, they're in your straight. Nice. All right, so I already got the tremolo installed with the springs and the lock and or the uh, 
stabilizer and everything else fits in there just perfect just like it just came out I want to hit this with a little bit of deoxid I think there's left yeah, there's plastic on the back of this cover so I would like to remove that plastic because it's kind of frayed around the edges and the plastic is scratched up pretty good I'm not going to take these screws and stick them in the drill to clean them up. And I'm just going to wipe them down and then use a little bit of the black touch-up paint that I have. Alright, so that's what the inside looks like. Not that big of a deal. These pickups are three-wired pickups. Alright. So let's see if this will come off fairly easy. Not too much of a hassle. Just seeing how many years this plastic. This is the only reason why um, I don't like people leaving plastic on the back of their guitars. Yes, it will protect these covers, but after they are on there for so many years, they start to look like shit. So you can see how this cover if you can. It's kind of scratched up. There's some lines and shit on there. But when I peel this plastic off, it's going to look like a brand new brand new fucking piece of plastic. I'm actually lucky that this is coming off like this because a lot of times with this shit is left on there, it wants to tear because the plastic is really dry. It wants to tear and it leaves pieces all over the place. Yeah, I'm actually kind of lucky that this is working out this way. It's beautiful. Now I got my fingerprints all over it. Nice smooth plastic. Throw that away. Alright, so I want to deoxid. Which one do I want to use? Do I want to use the cleaner or the cleaner? That's mostly lubricant. Uh, cleans and lubes, improved. Okay. Uh, this one here is. I'm going to use this one here. This one has the lubricant in it. So, again, on the top of these cans, you will see that it's kind of like a switch. You have high, medium, and low. These do not take much. Just leave it on low. And just do a little bit. Of a squirt in there in some place where it's not going to run all over the place a little bit a bit start moving the knobs back and forth get that shit working around the little slides Now the switch is a little bit more difficult because it's very, very hard to kind of, you have to find an opening in the switch and kind of get it in that opening. Now on the top of the switch there's some openings here. There's also a little bit of an opening on the sides and a little bit on the front. The front is what holds the swivel. The sides have the spring that compresses on a ball. Um, and the top looks like this is the only spot I'm going to be able to get into. So what I want to do is go between these wires somehow hold the can up straight give it just a little bit of a squirt does not take much run that back and forth I can hear it now all right so that's done Check your solders, 
make sure that all the soldering looks good does not look like anything is crossing over to anything else that's not supposed to be there make sure no wires are loose on the solder and everything looks looks good so next would be to just clean up the back now the cover for the spring area for the tremolo and stuff I'm not going to put that back on until I get the strings on it get everything where I want it to go yeah it's a little dirty back here I go to the auto parts store, get some more rubbing compounds, or just order it off the internet, which will work too. Now these are the screws that I ended up polishing out with the drill. as well start rubbing his stuff in there while I have a chance to not too bad it wasn't that bad dirty Tell you that this did bring out the color a little bit more than what it was. At least I think so. I don't know if it's showing up to you that way. Wires. It's very important to get the leftover um i don't know if you saw that or not but it's very important to get the leftover rubbing compounds out of the cracks because that looks like shit what i should have done is picked up some strap locks for this thing too the original ones because these look like they're kind of worn all right so i don't need to have my nose inside here anymore so what I'm going to do is basically take these tops of these screws. And they don't look like they're bad as far as oxidation goes, but they do look like they got some shit on them. So what I'm going to do is just kind of clean them up a little bit. Then with the right screwdriver. That's the one thing, you know, working on cars and um, motorcycles, working on uh, the car audio and shit. It's always important to have the right tool for the job. Like, you're not going to use a pair of wire cutters, standard size wire cutters, like... You're not going to use wire cutters this side to cut zero gauge wire. Zero gauge wire is like that big around. That ain't gonna work. So I have my wire shears in the garage upstairs. 
So when I'm doing the car audio shit, all my tools are where I need them. And I'm not going to do car audio in the basement, so I don't need to have those type of tools down here. Now this by no means is probably going to look like a 100% brand new guitar, but this will look like a very good condition used guitar. I got some plastic over here I need to peel off. There you go. Last screw. That's it for that. Now what I want to do is test out the controls, test out the volume, the tone, five-way switch, to make sure that I'm getting some type of sound and no static, no, you know, nothing goofy. So for that, I need my program. My patch cord. I want to make sure that that plug is clean on the inside too, so I might have to spray a little bit of the deoxid on that and put the plug in and out. All right, so let's see if we have sound. That sounds clean. That sounds clean. Good. 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 No jiggle noise. Nope. All right, so that is fine. Shut my program down. All right, so basically what I can do now is start putting strings on this puppy, but I'm going to have to take each one of these blocks out and clean the blocks before I do that. And the reason being is, you know, palm muting and shit like that when you're playing guitar, um, shit can get down inside there and get on those blocks. When you remove your strings and put new strings on without cleaning those up, uh, it's a good chance that your uh, string may pull out of there because of the grit, grime, will act like, a, sometimes it could act like a grease, you know. If you ever seen like, like a bunch of crap over here and kind of go like this and it smears it all in, well, it's a little bit of a grease or oil in it, probably from your skin or whatever, that could be in there as well. And I want to clean all those out before I put the new strings in. That's going to be real time consuming and very much tedious bullshit work because these things are so fucking small. So what I'm going to do is kind of do that off camera. It's not really... You know, it's not really a necessary thing, but it is one step that I kind of do with these things before I uh, uh, restring them. So, I guess for right now, until this thing is ready for a setup, I'm going to cut this video short. So that's it for right now. Um, again, you know, spare parts, and I'll end up possibly using these. Uh, I could take these into the garage and use the machine that I have to re remove the. Uh, plating that's on here or maybe remove that top coat of plating that's on here and turn these into chrome get rid of the cosmo black so that's about it boys and girls thank you for watching and i appreciate your time take care